Joe Tomorrow from WetheadPumpRepair.com. What's up? I'm here with my boy Robert. Yeah. What's up, man? How you doing? Pretty good. All right. So today we're with a Pack Fab pump, man. Right. We're gonna show them how to access the impeller, and then in part two, we're gonna show you how to take out and remove your motor armature. All right. So the first thing you're doing today, right, man, is uh, we're gonna use a Phillips head screwdriver. And what you want to do? Well, actually, you don't want to use a Phillips head screwdriver on this pump. Okay. What you want to do is use actually a flathead, and you want to remove these four bolts here. Okay. You got one on top here. Just like that, right? Now, this is your diffuser. So if you're wondering what this piece of plastic is called, that is called your diffuser. It diffuses the water into you and out of your impeller, which is what I'm going to show you next. Okay, so you want to take these three bolts out like this. You can use either flathead screwdriver or you can use a nut driver. All right, so once you remove this last bolt just like that, you want to grab the diffuser, and then your diffuser will pull off just like that, right? Hey, we're live, you know what I'm saying? Like, you see that happen, people are always like, oh, Joseph, you're making it too easy. All right, well, we didn't expect that to happen. So, obviously, if you watch the installation video, we'll show you how to put that back together. So, there's your little teaser there. So, I'm not going to show you how to do it now. I'm going to make you watch the other video. You probably get stuck watching, like, some micro from Dirty Jobs Ford Air. Like, hey, man, I'm over here with the Ford Fusion. And, like, how do you have the car? And some young college chicks, like, he paid me to say I love it. Prefer Mercedes because my dad's rich. But, you know, whatever. Okay, so now that we're off track, we're going to show you how to remove this impeller, all right? So Robert is going to show you how to remove this back piece. There's a little little cap on here in the back, right, Robert? Yep. All right, so Robert probably needs the hammer, he's afraid to ask for it in the video. No, look at that, Robert, man. Dude, now, I don't know if you've been watching, and if you haven't been watching, okay, and if you're just tuning in now, all right, you want to go to, like, right on top here is, like, where it says, like, options, you can hit most views. You can see, like, Robert from, like, two years ago, he was like, Hey man, I'm stunt doubling for the Geico caveman. And now remember, Geico, we don't want to get sued, we're not trying to rip off you. So, all right, in the back there is this little piece you can remove, okay? And that will let you access the shaft. Once you access the shaft, you'll want to grab that with a small pair of channel locks like this. Okay, it has a little flat spot in it. And once you grab it, you'll be able to spin your impeller off just like this, okay? Now, before you spin your impeller off, there's one thing I forgot to show you, and I forgot myself, is there's a little center screw right in here. Okay, you want to turn counterclockwise, right? This is called a right hand thread. So you basically you want to take your flathead screwdriver and turn it just like this. Right, bro? Mm -hmm. What's the matter? What are you staring at over there? All right, so once you do that, okay, Robert will put that into the parts pile. You'll want to grab the shaft, and then you could spin your impeller right off like that. Alright, there is your impeller, here's one part of your seal right here, you can see that, and your second part of your seal is inside there. Alright, so watch the next video, we're going to show you how to remove the seal plate housing and how to pop out the seal, we're going to show you how to remove the through bolts, we're going to show you how to change the bearings in the motor, right? Yeah. And do stuff like that. So, Alright, so if you're wondering how to remove your diffuser, or if you're wondering how to remove your impeller on a pack fab challenger pump. Okay, you can put it together. Yeah, and if you want to put know how to put this plate back on, I'll show you in the next video as well. All right, so this is Joe Tomargo from WetheadPumpRepair.com. What's up, Robert? We'll see you on the next video, man. Yep. Thanks for coming, bro. Take it easy. All right, Joe Tomargo, all parts available at WetheadPumpRepair.com. Peace.